My favorite part about the whole thing has just been having a connection with a deaf mentor that I know is going to be helpful, not only for us as a family, but for Amelie as well. When children are born, they rapidly learn from exploring their brand new worlds. The foundation of how and what they learn is dramatically formed in their earliest years. The Deaf Mentor Program, or DMP, was created to help parents of deaf and hard of hearing children communicate effectively with them. It all starts with the Deaf Mentor meeting the family and teaching the family, who can then interact with the child using ASL and visual communication. My first impression was a little bit intimidating and the reason being is because I didn't know the language. I didn't know much about the culture. Uh, so me trying to communicate was really difficult, but at the same time exciting because I knew that she was coming here to help us. Parents get frustrated when they attempt to communicate with their deaf or hard of hearing children. But when they join the Deaf Mentor Program, the Deaf Mentor teaches them how to engage and eventually communication improves. It's great to have her come here and show me one-on-one -on -one in person the signs right here. We are new to Arizona. We lived in a rural community in Colorado. What resources we had were all on the web. So video conferencing is a lot different than having her right here showing me and moving my fingers the way they're supposed to be or making me make faces the way I'm supposed to make faces. That's my favorite part, is having her actually come here and have set lesson plans for me to learn. From the very beginning to now it's getting harder and harder and harder, um, but, but the fact that she's right here, I have no doubt that I can do it. Oftentimes, parents feel isolated and anxious. When they begin working with a deaf mentor, they gradually build confidence in better communication. I remember feeling alone before I had met other parents. I was grieving before I had met these moms that I hang out with now. If I felt this way, I'm sure there's a lot of other parents that felt this way. Christy actually created an event for us families. It was called ASL Immersion Camp. It was a great way for other families to get to know other families. One of the ways that we've been able to communicate and uh, get in contact with other families is through gatherings where all families come together, get to know one another, and then kind of compare the things that we go through with our child and have each other's back pretty much. As Winnie has gotten older, a lot of the families that we connect with now have children that are younger than she is. And so I think we have the opportunity to kind of flashback to kind of see and remember what it was like to be learning ASL alphabet for the very first time three years ago and feeling excited and nervous um, about that. Our child's journey in the context of all of these wonderful children and families um, and that everybody's in a different place and that everybody's making the best choices for their families is, uh, is exciting. Through the Deaf Mentor Program, Parents have the chance to come together and meet other families who share the same experience. The sooner you can build into your life and into your schedule and into your routine access for your family and your child to ASL and to communicating and working with um, deaf and hard of hearing adults and children, the better. The Deaf Mentor Program has been a very valuable asset to our family and I, I can't say nothing bad about it. I love it. I enjoy it. My biggest advice would be do it. You know, what can go wrong? If you don't like it, then you can stop, but I can pretty much guarantee you you'll like it. We, especially us new parents that, you know, for the first time are having, you know, children with hearing loss, I think the best thing that we could do, you know, as parents is, you know, getting involved and, you know, receiving services for our child because 
me as a, you know, as a new mom to a deaf child, I had no clue what I was doing. And what better way than to, you know, receive services from a deaf mentor who has been there before, you know, who's educated, who can guide you, who can help you. Um, you know, most parents probably hesitate a little bit just because, you know, they, they're probably afraid, you know, it's a new community, a new language, a new culture. I get it, you know, I've been there. Um, but I, I feel like it's the, one of the best gifts we can give, you know, to our kids. And honestly, um, if you're thinking about doing it, do it.